after continuous use, your master gardener might experience a power shortage. The problem could be a variety of things. In this video, you'll learn how to troubleshoot the electrical elements of your master gardener. Before getting started, you'll need a handful of tools to complete this task. The tools that you need are a Phillips screwdriver, a needle nose pliers, and a 2 to 6 amp external battery source. Before troubleshooting the Master Gardener, make sure the power switch is on the off position. Next, remove the power cord connection in the back of the Master Gardener. Then remove the black case to the fuse. After the fuse case has been removed, grab your needle nose pliers and lightly pull out the fuse. Visually inspect the fuse and make sure there's no breaks. If there is no visual breaks to be seen, place the fuse back in. Then proceed to place the fuse cover over it. Now reconnect the power cord. Toggle the power switch on. If your master gardener doesn't power on, remove the power cord connection once more. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and proceed to unscrew the back panel of your master gardener. Open up the back panel and expose the battery by sliding the hose up and over. Next, check to see if all connections to the battery are truly connected. Once the connections are confirmed, reconnect the power cord again and toggle the power switch on. If you still don't have power to your master gardener, disconnect the power cord connection once more. Grab your external battery source and connect it directly to the battery. There will be a red and black points to secure the charge to. Charge for two hours. After using the external battery source for two hours, unhook and screw on the back panel of your master gardener. Reconnect your power source connection. Test the power again by toggling the on switch to make sure the battery takes a charge. Finally, connect your battery charger to your master gardener and plug into the nearest wall socket. Let your master gardener completely charge until the light on your battery charger goes from red to green. Now test your master gardener once more by toggling the power switch to on. If these steps fail to generate power for your master gardener, the battery will need to be replaced. Contact our sprayer division with the number on the screen and they can help you get a replacement battery. For additional videos, check out our YouTube page for more general information visit us at mastermanufacturing.com.